So I've spent a ton of time trying to figure out how to exactly make this video. It's a weird topic in a way, and I can't think of another franchise that technically has the same issue that the Halo platform does. And I've gone back and forth on the tone of the video, what points I want to make in the video, and recently there's been even more light shed on this issue. And that issue is the biggest threat, the biggest competition 343 has with Halo Infinite, is Halo the Master Chief Collection. My name's Holotide and I make Halo videos here on YouTube and if that's something that you think that you would enjoy watching, go ahead and throw a sub our way. We are so close to 10K. I actually have a bet with one of my friends that we can hit that before September and we're also gonna have a 10,000 subscriber montage coming out when we hit it. And obviously I would greatly appreciate that. That's been my dream since I started YouTube. And if you also agree with the video, leave a like and leave me some comments letting me know how you feel about this situation. Okay, let's get into the video. So this is a weird problem to have, right? One platform is chock full of campaigns, multiplayer, Forge, and a plethora of content, albeit some of it is over a decade old, and the other is a brand new game, but is missing that abundance of content and has major issues preventing it from reaching its potential. I feel like the existence of both of these games is a gift and a curse. MCC is getting all that tender loving care that Infinite needs, at least in terms of PR, and it has led to a lot of good and bad feelings for both games. On one hand, some of our favorite games are getting more content, and on the other hand, Infinite has dropped a ball, and there's so many reasons why, including staff turnover, vision, and etc. Now, it is not lost on me how bad MCC released, and the best thing, and I guess the worst thing, that 343 did was release it in the state that it did, only to labor for years and years to fix it, and then bring it to PC, and then give it more content in the time leading up to, and now after, Infinite's release. Don't get me wrong, I'm extremely happy we are getting the love and support for MCC, but I definitely think that it's caused a schism and the player base, which, you know, even more than normal. The Halo Twitter account will tweet, you know, about Griffball or Infection returning to MCC, and then people will, in the comments, ask why it's not infinite yet. MCC has the custom game browser, working custom games, and is now receiving massive support in the form of mods for the community. MCC is a constant reminder to fans of what Infinite is missing. It also pushes that Bungie vs. 343 narrative that is so prevalent as well, even though I personally believe 343 has done a remarkable job with MCC, the launch of course being awful. And some may argue that's the least they could have done. Progression system, match composer, the addition of Flood Firefight, cross-platform campaign, co-op, new skulls, new customization including armor, skins, visors, and so on and so on and so on have all been added to MCC. And in my opinion, MCC's challenge system is also superior and offers both PvP and PvE challenges to complete something the PvE campaign side of Infinite sorely needs. It, it lacks all types of replayability, and we are getting mission select, I know, but man, it's missing a lot. Now, I get that it's almost unfair to compare the two, almost. We are comparing about 15 years worth of, you know, games and content to just one game that's been out for a little over six months. But it's also weird that, you know, Halo's had some major partnerships, including the Fall Guys crossover, where it had cosmetics exclusive to the Master Chief Collection. It almost feels like it's two separate studios vying for our playtime. Even now, with Halo Infinite lacking content and even DLC for the story, nowhere in sight, MCC is adding cut content including wildlife, vehicles, missions, the Halo 2 Earth City demo mission, and now we're getting leaks of new armors coming to MCC that are, in all honesty, pretty freaking cool looking. Someone at 343 is definitely a Gundam fan for sure. The MCC player count has passed Infinite's on PC multiple times, but when I was looking at the Xbox top games by popularity, I actually didn't see MCC on that list, which is kind of strange. I also ran a poll on my community tab, and if you want to take part in those, just make sure you sub to the channel. You can only play one game for the rest of your life. MCC doesn't get any more updates after today, and Infinite still does. And right now, with over 300 votes, Infinite is winning 62% to MCC's 38%, and that's still wild to me that it's that high for MCC, but at the same time I understand. I don't really have huge doubts that eventually Infinite will be THE Halo platform, but 343 has really set up MCC to stand the test of time with all its support it's received, and while that is the shining beacon of Halo, Infinite has a long and difficult road ahead of it to not only gain the trust back of its core player base, 
but to be inviting enough to get casual fans and those not into the series interested in Halo again. Halo MCC is proof that a game even, you know, eight years since release, they can really turn around with enough love and attention. Now that's definitely a special circumstance that's happened with MCC, but fingers crossed Infinite can do it. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you around the ring. Peace!